Yo, what's up everybody? So y'all already know this is the channel where I sit down, talk to you guys about stuff, give you guys some wisdom on what I've been thinking recently and you guys know I don't edit these videos, I don't cut these videos at all. Not because I'm lazy, kind of because I'm lazy, but mainly because people on YouTube nowadays, they just be, they cap and they, they make themselves look different, bro. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna itch my nose if I got a booger on camera because I don't give a damn. You know what I mean? Okay, so the, the topic of this video is, uh, I was going through my comments, right? And somebody said, uh, this isn't funny. So I don't know why I'm laughing. The reply is funny. So just hold on. I'm not laughing at the main comment. Somebody said, hey, DJ, I'm a 50 year old with lung cancer. It's stage four and it's untreatable. I spent all my life studying chemistry, but now I'm a professor and I'm bored. I, I know I have a short time to live and I don't know what to do with my life before I die. Please guide me. Now, when I first saw this comment, I was like, so this person has to be capping. There's no way there's a 50 year old with cancer who watches my stupid ass videos. But then I kind of thought about it and I was like, what if this is somebody being for real? What if this is somebody who's actually about to die and they they actually asked me for advice? That's That's a crazy thing. That's a crazy thing. The fact that there's a 50 year old in the world and okay, it might be a little kid trolling me. I don't give a damn if it is. You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck. I'm going to help anyway, just because that's a blessing that somebody thought, oh, damn, I got cancer. Let me go talk to DJ, see if he can give me some advice. That's fucking cool. You know what I mean? Okay. The reason I was laughing at the comment is because somebody replied to their comment and said, so what, old woman? <laughs> what? So somebody commented and said, I'm a 50 year old with cancer. I'm about to die. What should I do with my life, DJ? And this little kid replied to them and said, so what, old woman? What the hell do you mean, so what? This person's about to die from cancer. These little kids are crazy out here, bro. I might have to edit this video just to show the comments. I don't know, because I'm not going to sit here and do that. It's freaking lame. But y'all know I ain't cutting it. So you want some advice on what to do. And uh, I think the good thing about these videos is I'm not even thinking about it before. It's just my raw input. So this might be some shitty ass advice. It might be bad, but here's the thing. It's just me. You know what I mean? I'm me. I'm DJ. Okay. Right when I read this comment, I uh, immediately thought, damn, that's crazy. The fact that you spent your whole life, you know, studying to be a professor. You really wanted to be a professor. You really want to teach people. And then now that you've been a professor for a while, you're kind of bored of it. And it made me realize that that's a pretty common thing. Like people really... Uh, deal with that a lot people okay hold on let me pick my fucking headphones up i don't know why they're on the ground people deal with that a lot they go to college you know once they graduate high school they don't really know what they want to do with their life i bet you can relate to this where you've never really known what you want to do like maybe you wanted to go to the nba but that shit ain't happening because that's you got to be different for that to happen so people always have their dreams and they're they never really meet their dreams so then they go and do something because they feel pressured that they need to do something like all oh, their friends are going to college. I might as well go to college too. And they go to college and do a, a they study for a major that they, they don't even like because they feel pressured. And then they go into a job that they don't really like. And then the years go on and time goes on. And then boom, they're 50 years old with cancer and they don't know what the fuck to do with their life because they're about to die. Here's my advice. Um, as a 21 year old who has never had cancer and who has never went to college and has only made YouTube videos as a job, I don't really feel super qualified to uh, be helping you, but I'm going to help you anyway. So I don't really have much experience with a lot of the things you're talking about, but it seems to me that you said you're bored. You said, uh, I feel bored. I know I have a short time to live and I don't know what to do. You're bored with where your life is, right? Uh, you don't really want to go and teach these kids stuff because you're like, I'm about to die soon. Uh, the first thing I'd want you to ask yourself is, do you have enough money saved up to quit working until you, um, you know, for a while? The reason I ask that is because you, you say that you're bored, you know, doing your job. And I think it benefits you to stop doing your job, especially because you say you only have a couple months to live. I, I wouldn't really want you to spend your last couple of months doing things you don't enjoy. Now, if you don't have enough money to go fulfill your dreams and go travel, uh, I think the thing I would do if I was in your situation and I had only a few months to live, I would spend a lot of time with family. 
I would try my hardest to travel. Uh, if you don't have enough money to travel, I still would find a way to travel. Let's say, I mean, you're a professor, so you work Monday through Friday, right? You get the weekends off because you're a teacher. I'd say right when school gets out on Friday, get your ass in that car and just drive four hours away by yourself. Just drive. Go check in at a, a little shitty motel for 60 bucks a night. You know, cough up $60. And just drive and just explore things and really take time to yourself to um, think. I feel like recently in my life, it's helped me a ton to uh, really realize what I want when I'm by myself, when it's silent and I'm thinking. A lot of times nowadays, people just, you know, they wake up and they're scrolling on TikTok and, and that fills their brain with just a bunch of shit. Their brain is everywhere. And now you're, you're thinking about this war in Afghanistan and you're thinking about how, uh, you know, Char Carly Rae Jepsen dropped a new song. That's what you see on your phone. I, she hasn't been relevant in years, I'm pretty sure. I don't know why the hell I'm thinking about her. But you know what I'm saying, bro. Getting on the phone and getting all this outside information really distracts you. You know, when, when you when you tune all this stuff out and you just focus on you and you live in the moment, you think about things. Like for me, for example, I whenever I sit on my phone I and I get all this stupid ass information, I can't think about what I want to do. I can't think about what I need to do. But when I put the shit down and I focus on what I'm doing, I start to think, oh shit, I haven't paid my my bills. What the hell? How did I forget that? Or, oh shit, I got to clean the cat litter, bro. My cats have been pooping. You know what I mean? That, that stuff happens to me. So I think the two things I would do, the main two things I would do if I was you was take some time to yourself to really you know, hone out what you want to do. I feel like people just distract themselves with phones and all this. So take some time to really think because your brain is so much more powerful than you think. And also, when you're not by yourself, spend time with family. I'd say try to take time off of work because you obviously don't like doing it. Spend some time with yourself, but spend a lot more time with family. Talk with people. Create memories. If you have money, which I hope you do, you're 50 years old, if you have money, take that money and fucking spend it. I'm, I, like, I, I'm, I've never been a, a big, like, go spend your money guy, but go have fun. People say money doesn't buy happiness, and it, it truly doesn't when you think about it. Like, you could have all these nice cars and stuff, but heh, you got to pay more car insurance. Heh, you got to, you know, pay property tax when you buy all these nice houses. You got more, you know, bills to pay. It's, it's not, you know, money doesn't buy happiness, but it can buy you short-term happiness, and because you say that your life is about to, you know, be over, <laughs> you might as well lock the fuck in, spend some money, and go have some fun. If you really like to travel, go travel. If you really like to play video games, go buy a PC with 3,000 gigabytes of RAM. I don't know how the hell that shit works. I don't know. I've had the same PC for a while. But go do the things you enjoy. You, you say that you don't know what to do, and... I, I understand what you're saying. Like, you don't know what to do. If I was in that situation and I had cancer and I was about to die, I would probably feel the same way you do. I'd be like, I don't really know what to do because I could die in two minutes. Why would I go travel if I would just die, you know? But uh, one thing about life is you can't control. You can't ever know when you're going to die. You can't control it. So just live it up. You know what I mean? I feel like, I just thought of this, I feel like some bad YouTubers would be like, they'd be like, oh, bro, you got cancer, bro, damn, that sucks, well, maybe you could watch my videos, maybe it'll calm you down, like, damn, I feel like bad YouTubers do that shit, that is so fucking cringy, but, yeah, I think, just live it up, bro, and to that little kid who replied to them, you're crazy, bro, so what, old woman, bro, you better to hope you don't get cancer, bro, that's crazy, all right. If you guys have any advice for this person who's literally about to die, comment it down below. If you guys need some help, if you need some stupid ass advice from me, let me know. Peace.